Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about two causative agents of atypical pneumonia that I'm pretty sure you have heard of before. The first one is causing SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome. It is a type of atypical pneumonia presenting with a sudden onset of high fever over 38 degree, dry cough, dyspnea, chills and shivering and muscle aches. It is caused by a strain of the coronaviridae, namely SARS-CoV-2, and it is different from other strains of the coronaviridae family, as it affects the lower respiratory tract and also the whole body. There was an outbreak in 2003 in China, where a little bit over 8,000 people got infected and 774 died. It was a mortality rate of approximately 10%. How does this virus spread? By aerosols and droplets containing the virus. Those are released when an infected person speaks, coughs or sneezes. And this is where the masks that we all wear currently are coming in handy, as they catch those aerosols or at least part of them. SARS patients become infectious around the time when the first symptoms appear, which is usually the sudden onset of high fever. And usually they are not infectious in the three to seven day long incubation period before they develop any symptoms. How is it diagnosed? A PCR test or an antibody test are used to prove the presence of the virus and also electron micro microscopy can be used to visualize the coronavirus in pneumocytes. Now I want to talk about the histology of this atypical pneumonia. We can divide this in the early exudative stage and the general stage. So in the early ex exudative stage there is diffuse alveolar damage, vascular congestion and interstitial and airspace edema. Furthermore, there's inflammatory cell infiltrate, so neutrophils, macrophages, lymphocytes, all those kind of cells that the immune system sends to fight this infection. Then also there are scattered type 2 pneumocytes, cytologic changes, which are multinucleation, cytomegaly, nucleomegaly, the clearing of chromatin and prominent nucleoli. After the infection passed, Around 25% of all SARS patients have permanent lung damage in the form of fibrosis, with a tendency to get slightly better over time, but often it does not disappear completely. Also, 80% of all patients have IgG antibodies, however, the levels drop over time, so there is no permanent immunity. Now I want to talk about MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. It's a viral infection causing atypical pneumonia, as SARS also, but this one is caused by the MERS COVID. There were 2,500 cases, of which 35% died in an epidemic in 2012 in Arabia. It was initially spread from camels to humans. The WHO then recommended to only drink pasteurized camel milk, to not eat undercooked camel meat, and to wash your hands after contact with the skin or excretions of camels as they might contain the virus in their nasopharynx. Between humans it spread via very close contact or again these respiratory droplets or other exchange of fluids. The symptoms range from no symptoms at all to very severe symptoms or death and the symptoms are usually fever, cough, diarrhea and dyspnea. And on an x-ray we can find a bilateral patchy infiltrate with the lower lobes being more involved. This is due to gravity as the particles when they're inhaled usually sink more into the deeper areas of the lung and then affect the lobes there first. That's it for now. I hope everything was clear. If you have questions post it in the comments. I will try to answer as soon as possible and I would be very happy if you would subscribe if you like the channel.